What's going on everybody? Uh, MVP Collectibles back here again today with another review for all of you fine folks out there. This is going to be the Thanos uh, Hot Toy by uh, From Avengers Endgame. This is going to be MMS 529 and this is going to be the Ormode Edition. Uh, the only Thanos I guess they made from that movie so far that's currently out. They are making a battle damaged version as well. Um, so yeah, I do want to apologize for how late this review is coming. Um, I actually recorded one and my issue is with that one, uh, I kept being super pissed. It kept getting, it was super long. It was a, not a good review and I ended up not even being able to switch out his gauntlet with his hand. So I figured out how to do it. Um, and so you'll see that in this video, uh, you'll see the differences. This video, uh, it actually, it's kind of strange because it starts with his gauntlet on, which, uh, so, which I'm actually never going to be displaying him with, uh, because I don't like that look because it's not even in the movie, but whatever. Uh, here's the art box, pretty much. Thanos down below, Avengers big A sign and his, his look at him in profile view. Uh, the side here, same thing basically, Thanos, uh, the back has all the credits, all that kind of stuff, the side kind of same thing. Um, this thing does have a lift off, I'm not going to lift off, you can just basically see it, just like that. Um, and then the top, Thanos, whatever. Um, so now let's move this, and there he is, um, I will move the camera little bit now more forward um as you guys can see here this is basically exactly how he comes all i did was i switched out the gauntlet and i uh and he comes with a fist but um now overall this what was probably be my favorite hot toy uh he's not perfect but i just think he looks so badass articulation good it's not great. It's not Batman, um, but it's better than like a like a Wonder Woman one would be. Um, and he has so many like like you can literally like take him apart. You know, both arms come off. Uh, especially the especially this one. Sorry, this one. Um, you know, these things move up and down. Um, the gauntlets come off. These things slide on and off. Which actually, if you don't have a hand attached. It can just slide off with unless you kind of have to like push it up. Um, I am slightly worried about like paint rubbing off and stuff, and like like so right now when I'm looking at him, he's got like a big area right here that is just like a purple like just a naked chest basically, which I find is like like underneath his armor, which I find is a little bit annoying. But then again, guys, he's sweet and sick and. Uh, I will be uh, doing, I'll be giving you guys close-ups, of course. I'll be doing a couple poses, both with this gauntlet, without the gauntlet. Um, now, this, now, do note, another thing to note is that these gauntlets do light up. However, this, I cannot find at this house a small enough screwdriver to get the battery con container open. I will show you guys one of the gauntlets that does light up. But it's for my Infinity War one, not this one. Do note, it looks the exact same. But just note that the gauntlet on him won't be lighting up, unfortunately. Um, and I do apologize. Uh, these things, these shoulder things right here, come off. Uh, that's helpful for articulation. Do note, I won't be articulating this guy too much for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I don't like to damage or anything like that. Also, I'm really bad at it. Uh, I'm working with one hand, so I gotta, of course, move him to my body and do all these things. I will show you guys a couple poses. However, I will, uh, I will let you guys know that uh, on YouTube, there's many different posing videos, including a one called uh, Posing with Peter. Uh, it's with a YouTube channel called Justin's Collection. Go check that out. That is much better than anything I can do. That is much better edited, much better overall things that I can do. Um, so shout out to that channel. Now, of course, what is this guy missing? 
just right now? What is he missing? Well, the first thing, the best thing, the thing that I will not display him basically without his helmet. Now this thing, guys, makes this thing like a hundred times better. Oh, so good. You know, I mean, it's, I mean, that's just, that's just awesome. I mean, that is just, just so cool. You know, and with the helmet on, of course, he does come with two hen, two heads. Um, now, I keep going back and forth about getting the uh, other version of him to get the other head and then the different, uh, probably, at least as of right now, I'm not going to. Uh, maybe in a year, two years, uh, once my, once all the, once, once a lot of the things I currently have on order come in, I'll think about it. Um, but, so of course I'll swap out the heads and stuff in a second. But for right now, I'm going to guys, I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys just a close up. We're going to start here on the boots. And I'm, and I do apologize for the light. It should be okay. So like the shadow right there on him, like a uh, sun's dark and something like that's actually him. That's not the lighting, but. Uh, you guys can see there how it's kind of battle, like worn and torn, kind of. Uh, now, one of the cool things about this piece is actually the articulated feet. It's actually really cool how they did that, and I'm a fan of that. Um, but a lot of this almost actually going to be like a different piece from the... It's not going to be attached to his body. Sorry, while I just rotate him here. Oh, you guys can see my computer. Um... Now, he is also wearing, like, an underlying pants, like, that material. I'm sorry for the light, but that material there is actually going to be, like, a cloth material. Um, sorry here. Let me just... There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, really cool. Gauntlet here. Now, this gauntlet, of course, it's, it's definitely brighter in person. Uh, the light here is kind of bad, but I will show you guys the gauntlet also separate uh, close-ups. Um, well, I mean, this is a close-up, but you guys know what I mean, like actually looking at it. Um, again, it does light up. I'll show that as well. His little, I don't even, I forget what you call that, but that thing that comes down, his other arm. Now, again, this gauntlet moves right here, the whole thing. This strap here moves, and that also is removable. So all that basically comes off. This this does not come off, but it does slide. I think you can take it off. I think I saw someone take it off. I'm not going to take it off just because there's not much point. Uh, his chest here. This will be the only close-ups I show you of him. I will try to show you guys close-ups of, of his portraits, um, but this is going to be the only close-ups I show you of him himself just because it's just... Not worth doing more. Um, you guys go. Pretty dope. Good detail. It and one of the one of the things that bugged me a little bit, especially when I first not saw him, was the fact that like he's almost a little too black, and like like this like I mean don't get me wrong he's badass but. I mean, you could have done maybe a little bit different tones. I get it's hot toys, and I get they don't do that. It's not a statue where there's, you know, shading. But his other thing there. Now see his armpit there, and then the purple thing down below. Now, I will also show you guys what I was talking about, about his... You guys can see... You guys... Okay, so it's a definitely... But you guys can see that there, the purple. Um, it's definitely a lot different and better in person uh but there you guys go now up to his head so badass i mean that is just so cool right i mean it just makes it so much better i mean you can look here in a profile view so cool the back i'm a kind of Annoyed by the way that there's that much space there and you know, there's that big seam, but there's not much you can do. So I'm not, I'm not gonna nag at that at all. 
Let's go over some articulation. Hang, hang with me here, guys, because this can get. So first, I would remove these. Uh, also, for hot toys, always check with the directions. Um, they're always they're ninety percent always taped to the bottom of the box when you first open the hot toy, um, especially if it's your first hot toy. Hot Toys always says, ooh, these things will show up. Some of the times they aren't that show up, like this time. And then other times they cut you, like Batman's Gauntlets. Batman's Gauntlets, guys, if you're getting a Batman Hot Toy in the near future, have a Band-Aid handy. That's all I'm going to say. Basically, this is what he can do. Okay? So... That leg's basically standing straight, okay? So basically what you're talking about is almost 90 on the elbows. That's as high as this as the arms can go with this arm. I think it can go one notch more. I'm not gonna test it. Um, the, the gauntlet, as you guys can see, I did move. Uh, also the feet, I'll actually do the feet kind of separately. Um, but really cool there. The or, the leg goes out about this. You can probably get it maybe a little bit more. He does have these things here, right here, these black things. See that right there, that black kind of like things that looks like, oh, yeah. That thing that's right there. So be careful with those. They're at, they are actually removable, so I would suggest doing that before you do this. Um, but there you guys go. I mean, he, he is pretty, he does have pretty good neck, you know, looks up, doesn't really look down. That's as much as you can do there. All the way around. Do note, these things definitely come off. Mine just came off. So, uh, it just, it just, you just slide it. There's just like a little opening that you just slide it into and then it's like hooks onto something and you can't really pull it off. So actually really cool how they engineered that he comes with a pair of gripping hands this is meant for his uh weapon he comes with this uh his other one is actually on the weapon itself i guess i'm never going to take that off he comes with a pair of relaxing hands um i'll show you guys one of each i'm not gonna show you guys multiple of each um he comes with a pair of fists he has a fist on right now his other fist is going to be on this and then this of course is what slides on or what goes back on the back so just like that and just like that and then of course i already showed you guys that so there you guys go he comes with his swap out portrait his angry portrait right here um yes in case anyone is wondering it is a different shade of purple barely than the infinity war if you it it's even hard to tell on camera. It's easy to tell in person, but it's a slight different. One is more plum. I believe he's slightly more plum. Uh, and of course, he's already shown helmet. He comes with his base, which I will show you guys once he's off of his base. He comes, of course, with the gauntlet. Both uh, articulated fingers, which is the one he has on. He also comes with the fist of course these do light up it's gonna look a lot like this so they just all of them just light up some of them brighter than others there we go just to light up some are some are brighter than others the uh, orange one's gonna be the least bright um and then of course lastly he comes with this. Okay, uh, we're now gonna go over a couple poses. This is going to be the Avengers Endgame Thanos wearing the Avengers Infinity War bent arm. Here's a pose for you. Oh. Moment. Creme de la creme. 
boom, light up as well. I just had to turn that up. Um, you can do this pose. Uh, I mean, there's so many poses you can do with this guy. There really is. There's so many. Um, I very rarely ever, I never display my guys with light ups. It's just a waste of battery. Um, sometimes I turn it on and I'll leave it for a little while. But still, not too long. Okay, check out this pose. Right? With the helmet. Looks like so. Now, when this helmet's down, for me it looks a lot better. For you guys, I'm realizing that it's kind of... But I mean, that just looks weird. So, but I mean, there's this. I mean, really cool. Okay, now I completely understand that this gauntlet wasn't in the movie. But this is actually pretty damn dope. I mean, come on. This is actually pretty damn cool. That's actually not, this gauntlet actually won't go on the other arm because it's not magnetic. At least I don't think it's magnetic. Definitely not magnetic. I mean, that's pretty cool. Boom. Check it out, folks. I mean, that's just cool. I'm sorry, but hold on. Let's see if I can get this a little bit more. And guys, I'm sorry to tell you, I'm officially, I don't know which gauntlet's which. I mean, I know that this arm's a different arm, but... I mean, that's pretty bad. I mean, that's pretty bad. I don't care where you're from. You got that coming after you, and I'd run. Be nope. I'm done. See you later. Bye-bye. Especially with the gauntlet, dude. It's pretty badass. Okay. You can do this pose again. You can also uh, try to get him with bent legs uh, to do a more dynamic kind of a pose. Um, I'm terrible at that. Um, but there's so many things. And again, this isn't even his arm. Like, so that's the thing. You can do so much with him and without him. And without the gauntlets, with the gauntlets, with the swept out head. You know, right now he's got his angry portrait. You got his non-angry portrait. There's so much ways you can get, pose this guy. And of course, I'm the kind of guy that'll keep him pretty straight. I, I will show you guys a pose that I do with him, his his pose that I have up in my room. Um, so stay tuned, guys. Uh, when we come back, he will not have a gauntlet. He will be have wearing this. So stay tuned, guys. Peace. We are back. And I swapped out the gauntlet. I swapped him into a fist, which I don't normally do. I normally have him in with this, um, but I also bent the other arm, tilted the head up to the left. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, there's just so many different poses you can do with this, guys. I mean, it's, I mean, it is really, he's just so posable. Um, and I mean, with helmet, without helmet, of course I'm a with helmet guy, I mean, There we go. I'm not a fan. I'm not the biggest fan of right now where his, how his head's posed. It's kind of looks like he's kind of being. It's 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 hard to rotate or uh, articulate his head. With the helmet on. Although the way his legs are right now, um, this 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 leg when I first put him, put him down was up like this. And his, and his foot is so articulated, he was able to go all the way down. I'm sorry if I'm freaking out at you guys, I just love this thing. I just really do. 
I keep going back and forth. I mean, I don't keep going back and forth because my answer to myself is no, but about buying more mobile Hot Toys. I'm never going to buy any mobile statues, and the only reason I would buy mobile Hot Toys would be to do him, you know? He is just cool. He is just cool. Simple as that, guys. I'll do a couple more poses. Just kind of saying, hey, what's up? Just kind of move, move this. Uh, switched out the hand with a uh, relaxed hand. So this is normally... How I have him displayed. Literally. Uh, some uh, Sometimes... I'll rotate this forward, and then of course I will add the final touch. And oh my god, maybe I don't have them displayed looking like that. Again with the leaning forward thing. There we go. Now he's leaning back, but still. It's at least better. So this is normally just how I have them displayed, just like this. Pretty museum pose, pretty relaxed, just chilling out, hanging out. Do note, of course, he can't really sit too well. Uh, so, you know the famous scene where he's sitting, uh, waiting for them to, where he's waiting for them for, to come and fight. He can't really get him to do that, which is really annoying. Okay, it's not really annoying. It's a negative. It's an annoying part um, because it just is. They should have figured out a way. Now, he can sit. I'm not doing that to mine. Uh, there's a couple of videos out there on YouTube of people doing that. Um, and they get him looking okay, pretty good. Um, it's actually kind of funny. Someone put up a video about him sitting in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxies, uh, his throne, and he looks ridiculous. The two different Thanos is next to each other. Um... This one is leaning back a little bit more. Uh, they're both leaning back, sort of. But now this would just be a quick little comparison because I will be doing an actual comparison video. Uh, but uh, I did switch out. So the gauntlet that was on him is now actually on him. I just made a quick switch because, of course, his actual gauntlet is broken. You guys can see right there. My bad. Um, so yeah, guys, yes, if you're a Avengers fan, if you are a Marvel fan, if you are an anything fan, well, okay, not anything fan, um, get, get this Thanos. He is beyond cool. And actually... <laughs> that looks ridiculous. <laughs> but it fits. Um, they are both wearing, wearing, or wearing, they both have on the same portrait. Um, they are very similar in a in tone, skin tone. However, there's a little bit difference, um, but not too much. Check out this guy's unboxing and review. It is up on my channel. It, I did it a, a while ago. He, it's funny, he actually came in. I got this Thanos the week. I, I reviewed him. No, I got him in three days before Avengers Endgame came out. Tell me that's not good timing. So, and of course I got him about a month and a half ago. You guys can go and check my unboxing. I got him a couple days before that unboxing. Um, but yeah, I do apologize for not doing too many poses with him. Um, but I did show you guys pretty much, again, there's a bunch of other poses you can do. You can get him to do his, or uh, to get a pretty good of a throwing pose where he's throwing this this uh 
this uh, w big sword. Th there's a name for it, I think. Um, it actually requires you to have uh, this hand, use this hand, and it actually requires you to wedge, kind of wedge the his thing in between his fingers, and he can do it that way. What's going on, guys? Uh, I decided to do a couple other poses, or just more poses. So uh, I'm back. It's a different day. It's a much further day. It's like weeks later. But um, he, this, I'm going to do a couple of these kind of poses. Uh, but he, he probably look, he looks really awkward, and that's because he is. Um, he's kind of, you know, has one foot on the base. You know, the helmet there. And then, there you guys go. Uh, I swapped out the hands. I mean, it is a pretty... It is a pretty cool pose. Um, this this isn't how I would do this pose because he looks just really awkward. I have seen other other pictures and even a video of guys posting him where he looks a lot less awkward in doing this. I tried that. I tried it a lot to get him into that pose, and I just can't do it or do it properly. I guess so. Here's this one guys. It's a good it's a cool pose. Again, I won't be doing him like this. But I just wanted to show you guys this pose here. And now we will we will break him down and do another pose for you guys quick. So stay tuned. So here's kind of the same thing. Just took the helmet off. He's now holding it. Move the big giant short sword. Do hickey. I mean, there's a, there's tons of these. There's just tons and tons and tons and tons. So you can really play around with him, see what you guys can do. Um, getting him to sit, I may have mentioned this earlier in my review, but getting him to sit is quite difficult. I'm not even going to attempt it. But, um, I mean, you know, I actually will. Uh, I guess I can attempt it. I think you have to kind of hold him. But his legs are, you know, off of this little uh, table here. But they are not, like, they are not, he's not, he just doesn't have enough space there. And, he's, and he can't sit forward enough to get him to stay up by his own. But, I mean, that's pretty much what I did. Um, you might be able to force it more, but his knees don't have great articulation at all. So that's why I'm not going to force mine. And this is the pose that I leave him in whenever, just when, just this is the pose I have him in whenever he's on display. Uh, I d normally like to keep my hot toys in as much as museum pose as possible. With only a couple hot toys that I kind of do in, in dynamic poses how like just to let you guys know but as right now I'm not at my house that has like all my hot toys so I actually put them all into the most museum pose and actually took a couple down and all lying flat because there's no reason for me not to do that because that's just silly one of those is the nightmare Batman because he's one of my favorites I also did that with one of my Wonder Woman, who's kind of, whose base is kind of iffy for whatever reason. So I just did, don't want him to, you know, fall down. But back to him. Guys, get this guy. He's awesome. Again, he does come with a different head, his angry portrait. That's, I, don't, I didn't bring that in here. But he comes with many, di many different hands. Um, just a very, very good, great hot toy he might be my favorite hot toy it is kind of between him and the nightmare batman i just love these <laughs> sorry these feet that go up and down articulated feet great touch yeah guys uh just a quick heads up this will be up any any hour now it's been months since in just waiting. Um, it took me like two and a half hours last night to edit this video. 
but uh, later today, uh, I do have the Crime One Studios Brainiac statue downstairs. I will be unboxing him tonight. I will be most likely, hopefully, uploading him tonight as long as the unboxing and everything goes smoothly. And as long as everything goes smoothly, on Sunday, I will be doing my review for that incredibly awesome statue. So that's what's going on in my statue world. One of my statues was just canceled, Grail. So that really sucks. Um, but it is what it is. I did order a couple uh, art prints. Those should be coming in some point. But definitely pick this guy up. If you're a fan of Avengers Endgame, I, I'm pretty sure he's still available through Sideshow. There, there, is, a, there is a different um, variant, I guess you could call it. Um, and that's going to be his battle damaged variant. So check that out. I might be picking that one up. Uh, I'm going to wait and see kind of down the road. Because I don't really have the space right now to have an out of four Thanos. So, there you guys go. Pick this guy up. He is awesome. And until my next video, guys, which should be, which will be the Brainiac unboxing, please share, like, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. 